Uh, I'm very grateful to introduce our three speakers, uh, all from Fujitsu Defense and National Security. Jun Mura is, a secure, uh, is researching threat hunting from an attacker's perspective and is also a PhD student at Okayama University in Japan. Eri Mura is an AI engineer um, and was a master's student uh, researching human brain emotion under language simulation. So prepare to be manipulated. Uh, and thirdly, a returning speaker, please welcome Toshi Satomi. Toshi's resume is longer than this conference, but we may all be grateful to Toshi as the original developer of Attack Powered Suit. Welcome, Toshi. Mm. Oh, thank you for introduction, uh, introducing. And uh, hello, everyone. I'm Jun. Uh, uh, today, uh, we uh, we talk about uh, micro attack driven threat hunting uh, automated by local LLM. But the, uh, this presentation is originally for 30 minutes presentation. So let me talk. Uh, let me speak uh, a little bit quickly. Uh, anyway, let's start. Uh, this is the, today's presentation agenda. Uh, and first, uh, introduction. Uh, first, uh, we are all from Japan, uh, Fujitsu Defense and National Security Limited. Uh, it's very long company name. Yeah. But and, uh, uh, again, I'm a uh, security researcher, uh, specifically offensive security. And I'm also, uh, I have experienced uh, penetration testing and red teaming against the Japanese organization. Uh, next, uh, Eri, please. Okay. Hello, I'm Eri, an AI engineer. <laughs> I've developed the application which is uh, utilizing generative AI, such as LLM. And I was a working student uh, until last year, uh, majoring at AI and got master degree. <laughs> And so I am a newcomer to security and engaged in the AI aspect of the, the project. Next, Satomi-san, please. Okay. Hi, I'm Toshitaka Satomi. Uh, I come back to this stage again. <laughs> <laughs> I, am a, I am a researcher of cyber threat intelligence, CTI. Uh, I'm also strongly interested, interested in artificial intelligence. As Salim mentioned, I am an initial developer of Attack Part Suit. Please download Attack Part Suit. Okay. <laughs> uh, last year, I passed a CISSB exam and get a certification. Of course, I still hold all my attack defender badges. Okay, next, I'll talk about our research motivations. Okay. The first one is sophisticated cyber attack. These attacks become more complex and sophisticated, so it is tough to detect attacks and prevent all threats by current security solutions. The second one is threat hunting. Threat hunting is a proactive approach to identifying and detecting threats within an organization's environment. Uh, however, there are many hurdles to apply a threat hunting methodology. There are various proposed threat hunting ways, so we are often confused about which ways to choose. Uh, one more thing, uh, threat hunting requires advanced skill. In this speech, we will propose a threat hunting approach utilizing MITRE attack driven threat hunting. From the next slide, let's dive deep into the details. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. One of our goals is to create threat hunting rules from MITRE attack. As you can see the logo images, we will use Sigma rules to detect the suspicious uh, behaviors, and then send the events to teams such as Splunk and Elasticsearch. By combining these services with a certain seeded project, we will uncover potential threats. This project is uh, submitting the pyramid. We just call it STP. Uh, our threat hunting method is based on this STP project. In this project page, we can show the sentence on this slide. 
create and apply a methodology to evaluate the dependencies inside analytics and make them more robust by focusing on adversary behaviors. The triangle in the lower left is called pyramid of pain. The triangle was introduced by David Bianco. Attackers can easily change the IP address of a C and C server and the hash value of a malware file. On the other hand, changing attack techniques requires a significant cost. Based on this principle, the STP propose, proposes creating rules that focus on the top of the pyramid. Okay. Let's consider applying the STP principle to threat hunting. STP defines the threat hunting levels from one to five. The top of the pyramid of the pyramid, uh, the top of the pain of the pyramid is equal to level five. Our method, our method also aims at the higher level, level four and five. However, this research has shown that rules focusing all these levels are often false positives. To reduce false positives and in, improve accuracy, various looks are required. Here, one problem arises. Most logs contain a large amount of sensitive information. So in other words, we must be careful about where sensitive information is placed. In most cases, sensitive information will be located within the organization rather than into the, uh, in the crowd. Okay, I'll hand over to you. Uh, okay, <clears throat> as Toshi mentioned, our proposal uh, sort of hunting method uh, process has a lot of steps to do, uh, and uh, there are a lot of problems uh, such as human resources, our time, our money, our cost. Uh, in addition, of course, it requires uh, knowledge of multi attack, uh, especially attack detection method. Uh, so therefore, uh, we would like to automate the process, uh, uh, <coughs> automate the uh, threat hunting process with LLM, especially uh, boring processes and concentrate on uh, only interesting processes. In other words, a human will only uh, focus on uh, only advanced steps in the threat hunting process in our concept. And of course, uh, how, uh, there are some concerns about uh, using uh, LLM. Uh, the first is cost. Of course, uh, most companies want to keep cost down, so and they they might be uh, avoid using GPU whenever possible because it is expensive. And the second is security risk. If we use a commercial LLM as a uh, chat as like uh, such as ChatGPT, uh, it is uh, based on the third service, uh, and uh, there is always a risk of info, uh, information leakage. Uh, especially uh, sensitive information. Uh, uh, tweaking sensitive, sensitive information is quite important. And uh, uh, in certain threat hunting, uh, this, uh, this information, uh, like uh, environmental information, uh, is necessary uh, to identify uh, the actual threat. <coughs> but uh, we would not like to upload it, uh, this sensitive information uh, to the internet. internet. So therefore, uh, we have adopted uh, local LLM and uh, uh, deployed an, some uh, application with it, uh, local LLM. And uh, this, this application works on the uh, CPU-only machine. Okay, so uh, before elaborating uh, on the application, uh, I talk about uh, some technical features in our application. Uh, there are main three challenges uh, in using local LLM um, and for, uh, for threat hunting, uh, using the rightest and correct information and uh, de developing a scalable system and uh, generating more practical outputs. In order to solve these challenges, uh, we have uh, implemented some solutions uh, to each. Uh, first, okay. So RAG, uh, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Uh, this is called as RAG. Uh, as, <coughs> as attack techniques are uh, being up, uh, updated every day, uh, and uh, uh, this uh, technique, uh, RAG, uh, makes it possible to use the latest and the correct information for, uh, for hunting rule generation. And second, so, uh, second is March agent system. Uh, when we want to uh, expand the function functionality of the application uh, in the future, uh, such as uh, using other other threats to intelligence, uh, intelligence, uh, intelligence, uh, multi-agent system enables it uh, achieved easily. 
And finally, uh, yeah, of course, in, environmental information. Uh, considering inf environmental information uh, allows us to generate more practical uh, and the, uh, yeah, more practical, uh, oh, sorry, uh, <coughs> yeah. Uh, so more practical uh, hunting rules. Here, uh, we use uh, Bratton data collected from uh, Active Directory, uh, in the Active Directory environment as environmental data. Uh, combining uh, all of them, uh, we can generate a useful hunting rule. Uh, here is the Sigma rule uh, with our uh, local LLM application. Okay, in this slide, uh, I explain the generation flow uh, of, the, uh, of our application. Uh, here's an example of Kerberosing. Um, this is a typical attack against the Active Directory environment. Our application enables us to generate a Sigma rule for the specific attack at Kerber hosting by using two agents. At first, uh, our, uh, the, application provides, uh, the application provides some web UI, web user interface, and we can input the uh, order to agent one. Okay, so uh, please generate Sigma rule for hunting Kerber hosting. And in addition, uh, some, uh, we can input some environmental uh, information uh, to the agent one. An agent one um, searches a multi attack uh, document and gets the detection methods. Search and obtain uh, detection methods. This is uh, equivalent to RAG uh, in the previous slide. And then uh, agent one also analyzes the uh, input, env input environmental data, uh, then passes all information, uh, detection methods, and the analysis result uh, to agent two. Okay, pass information uh, with orders. Uh, please generate the sigma rule uh, concerning additional information. And agent two uh, also searches some sigma manual or web page or other web pages and get uh, information which is necessary to generate sigma rule. And finally, agent two generates uh, last uh, sigma rule. Now we'll show you the short demo movie. Uh, in this demo, we will cover the uh, uh, we will cover the application and its accuracy. Let's start. First, select LLM model from pull down menu in the upper left. Second, upload some environmental information. Uploading these files allow LLM to generate uh, sigma rule uh, adjusted to your environment. And specify the attack technique. In this time, input Kerber roasting. And then run the generation process. It takes a few minutes, so we should wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's check the screen after generation. Uh, we can see the generated sigma rule within the code block. Along with it, uh, extra information is generated. To verify the accuracy, uh, we will test in our demo, demo environment. We are using Splunk, so uh, we must convert the generate sigma rule to, into SPL. Then test the SPL in our demo environment. We can identify some potential log from Kerber hosting attack, and actually, second one is generated by Kerber hosting attack. In conclusion, we've achieved generating useful Sigma rule uh, with local LLM and without any learning. Okay. So for, from here, uh, I talk about key points of this presentation. Uh, this slide shows the generation process of the and the functionality of a agent uh, two agents, but uh, uh, let me uh, skip this part. 
So agent two uh, obtains the specific data and analyzes the environmental data, and the agent two uh, gives some information on the uh, judge, the, uh, judge uh, whether the information is gathered and uh, sufficient. And yes, uh, the agent two generates the sigma rule concerning all information. Okay, um, the, okay, here is the know-how and tips obtained from uh, our development. First, a filtering detection method in my attack is critical. If uh, without filtering, uh, a hunting rule uh, based on unrelated information is likely to be, be generated. Uh, second, uh, in a multi-agent uh, multi system, uh, some token parameters uh, should be adjusted, especially token size. The token size becomes bigger uh, as the multi-agent system in, is in use. However, uh, all, all lo uh, local uh, models have the limitation of the token size. If our token size exceeds the limitation, uh, the generation process will be stopped uh, incorrectly. And finally, uh, we, we often have to use Windows event log in threat hunting, but it's, uh, its format uh, different for each event ID. In order to deal with it, uh, we have implemented a, rug, a new rug for searching this uh, uh, MSDN document. And as a conclusion, uh, we have uh, developed the application using local LLM uh, for make attack driven threat hunting. And it is possible to generate a sigma rule automatically uh, for detecting specific attacks. But there are some uh, future works. Uh, first is uh, st stability. Um, <clears throat> uh, for example, stability. Uh, of course, that is a characteristic of LLM, LLM that the generated result is different each time. But we think that uh, it may be possible to improve by adjusting a specific parameter. And then uh, machine resources. Uh, when we want to improve the generation speed, uh, machine resources is also necessary. So we will experiment SRM, uh, such as a small language model and, uh, uh, in the future, instead of LLM. In addition, uh, further improvements and expansions. Uh, our application is still uh, under development, so uh, there are some further improvements and exper uh, expansions. Uh, we have to implement, implement in our application. For example, uh, in our demo, uh, the environmental information was provided to LLM uh, manually, but uh, we would like to enable it automatically. And finally, uh, there are some uh, takeaways in this presentation. So uh, our concept uh, is based on summiting the pyramid, and we define the, some, some sort of hunting method proposal. And uh, sensitive information, uh, especially environmental information, uh, we uh, we have choose, chosen a uh, local LLM. And uh, running local LLM on the CPU machine, um, uh, we uh, we have adopted uh, some technologies like RAG or uh, multi-agent system. Okay, so that's all. Uh, thank you for listening.